How to redesign your PLR product and make it your own. PLR products are appealing to a lot of marketers and resellers because they give them the freedom to resell the product without limit, thereby making potentially endless profit from just a single modest purchase. But this isn't the only advantage of PLR products. What's arguably even more important for resellers is the fact that they can make changes to the products and customize them to better suit their brand and their message. In this presentation, we'll see how and why you should start doing that. Adding your branding. The first thing you'll want to do when you get your hands on a PLR product is to change the name of the author to your own name and or put your company branding on the book. This is important because it allows you to maintain the illusion that you created the product rather than outsourcing it. This can strengthen your brand engagement and it lends more authority to your own site. Changing the title. The best reason to change the title is so that the book will seem unique and so you'll avoid scenarios where visitors see the same book advertised on multiple sites. It's also possible to somewhat change the audience and tone of the book by changing the title, even without editing the contents. Changing the cover. Changing the cover of your book is something you'll do through image editing software, such as Photoshop. Most PLR products will come with editable Photoshop files making this easy. You might alternatively decide to use a free tool such as GIMP, however. Don't know how to design a great looking cover? Then you might consider finding a freelancer to do the work for you on Fiverr, 99designs, or Upwork. Changing the contents. Changing the actual contents of your book can serve many purposes, whether you're aiming to change the tone of the book or whether you want to add extra content in order to increase the potential value. You can even use this as a way to add affiliate links and thereby profit even more from your sales. To do this, you'll need to use a piece of software like MS Word or perhaps a free alternative such as OpenOffice. Just don't forget to save your final product as a PDF file so that your readers won't be able to make changes as well. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.